only took three years and 359 days after the United States officially went into Iraq for the United States Senate to officially even start to discuss a real way to start getting out of Iraq. The same amount of time it took the Pentagon to finally start calling this conflict what it is, a civil war. Our third story on the countdown, Senate Republicans, after filibustering the last two Democratic attempts to start a debate on non-binding measures about Iraq, agreeing today finally to let discussion commence on a binding measure. 89 to 9, the vote to proceed to consider a motion that calls on the president to start redeploying troops within four months with the goal of getting most of them home, or at least out of Iraq, by March 31, 2008. The subject of getting out of Iraq prompting, prompting a blistering attack on the administration and the Congress from Senator Joe Biden. It's about time we have the courage to stand up and say to the president, Mr. President, you have not only put us in harm's way, you have harmed us. You have no policy, Mr. President. I'm so tired of hearing this floor about courage. Have the courage to tell the administration, stop this ridiculous policy you have. We're taking sides in a civil war. This is a cycle of self-sustaining sectarian violence that 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 Americans will not be able to stop. Mr. President, this is ridiculous. There is no plan. Did anybody in this floor, did anybody count on the utter incompetence of this administration when they were given the authority they were given? Absolute incompetence. As long as the president keeps us on this ridiculous path, taking us off a cliff, I ask my colleagues, does anybody think they're going to be able to sustain keeping American forces in Iraq? at 160,000 for another year and a half? What do you think? What do you think is going to happen in Tennessee, in Delaware, in Illinois? Are we going to break this man and woman's army? What are we going to do here? How many times do we ask those 175,000 Marines to rotate three, four, five, six, seven times? Mr. President, you're leading us off a cliff. Stop. I yield the floor. Despite Mr. Biden's remarkable remarks and despite all the rhetoric, the bill the Senate is considering is not as strong as a House measure. It lists deadlines for the Iraqi government to meet and requires all troops to be you know, withdrawn by August 2008. Senate Republicans can still stop any actual vote on the resolution in the Senate by refusing to allow the 60 votes needed to stop the debate. Democrats trying to do some shit. Uh, it's like, whatever, man. Just do the thing. Just make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be, you know, having me all amped up so you can just, you know, turn around and shit on me later on. You know what I'm saying? 